Okay, you guys aren't dumb. You've likely noticed by now that I am, or more accurately that I was, a huge proponent of Assassin's Creed. You may also have noticed, if you're particularly perceptive, that gradually, over the course of this show, the former glut of Assassin's Creed 2 paraphernalia behind me has gone the way of scripted television dramas. That's because, and brace yourselves here, I sort of hated Assassin's Creed 2. And I would have made a review about it, but it's a bit late for that, and I was checking my watch, and, uh, would you just look at the time? It's RIP Ubisoft Montreal, a new sphincter o'clock. Oh, and here's the kicker. I love the shit out of Assassin's Creed 1. To this day, I have all the achievements on that game, and I still occasionally pop it in and play it. But for me anyways, playing the second game immediately after the first is like having sex, and suddenly somebody dumps a bucket of ice water on your dick. The why is fairly simple to answer. The series, from 1 to 2, somehow lost the magic. Yes, Ubisoft addressed some of the drudgery and repetition inherent in the first game. Yes, lots of cool stuff was added, like being able to pickpocket, like take on assassination side missions, like dyeing your clothes, blah 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 blah. But what seems to get lost in the ostentatious but ultimately hollow additions is that somewhere between Assassin's Creed 1 and 2, <clears throat> the figurative cranium that, for the purposes of this incredibly convoluted analogy I'm about to conjure up, is going to symbolize the game's plot and writing was on the receiving end of a vicious sledgehammer blow. A lot of you aren't aware of this, but you know the Animus machine that lets people relive their ancestors' memories? Basically, the narrative thread that ties all the games together? It wasn't originally supposed to be in the game at all. Assassin's Creed 1 was supposed to be entirely about a medieval assassin operating in the Middle East, killing crusaders and Saracens. No whiny, buzz-cut, bedecked Desmond making awkward advances on Kristen Bell in the vain hope that perhaps one day she'll permit his stack of dimes penis entry into her deposit box, just Altair running around like a badass, killing bitches. And you know what? Not a day goes by that I don't lament that Ubisoft didn't stick with their original concept, because the harebrained pseudo-sci-fi of the Animus ultimately gave way to the harebrained pseudo-sci-fi ending for Assassin's Creed 2, which... If you haven't played it, I won't spoil it for... I won't... You know what? Fuck it. It's aliens. It's goddamn aliens. There's no God. There's no Jesus. Apparently, it was aliens all along. Thank you, Elrond fucking Hubbard. You think that's dumb, though? Wait for the sequel. See, Ubisoft is now committed to making an Assassin's Creed sequel every year as part of a marketing event I can only assume it's called the Ruin Everything-a-thon 2010. And I promise you, whether you liked Assassin's Creed 2, whether you enjoy Brotherhood or not, each successive iteration in this series is just another mule kick to the skull. They will get more and more pants-shittingly retarded until the once-proud Assassination game series has at last been reduced to a slobbering, helmet-sporting, macaroni art aficionado rocking back and forth in the corner, repeating the word BACON over and over again until his voice goes hoarse. Go fuck yourself, Ubisoft. I'm Razorfist. God fucking speed.